Sorry, he can't even run. Heathrow only slowed down because he had already scored. Yeah, and besides, Corey's like five times bigger than him. And we're playing two-hand touch. Oh, God, would you listen to this guy? Next year, you're going to have us play with little Nancy flags tied around our waist. <laughs> I am not afraid of failure. I mean, you're never going to get good at anything if you never fail. So do I fail? Yes, a lot. Will I ever succeed? No, never. And that's OK. If you keep trying things and trying things and trying things, you'll get better, but not me. I'm going to fail much, much more. You know, it makes me think about when I first started playing basketball. I was really bad at it. And did I improve? No. I got really busy. But the point is, if I had stuck with it, would I have improved? And the answer is no. I'm not very coordinated or genetically disposed towards athletics. I think my feet hate my body. I sweat everywhere. I'm afraid of round balls. I'm confused by dribbling. But that's what drives me forward. It pushes me forward to my next failure, to my next failure, to my next failure. If you've ever been affected by rape, you've probably felt sullied, manipulated, and powerless. Sometimes it feels like you're all alone. That's why I started the Second Chances Recovery Center, where we're committed to helping the real victims, rapists. Second Chances gave me the confidence to move back in at home and, you know, eat my mom's home-cooked meals for a year. She cooks for me, she cleans for me. She's a woman. I got this great job at a bank that, like, my dad's poker buddy, he's the CEO of it. He's totally cool with me, like, drinking there, like, coming in late, like, looking at porn on my computer. It's the best. <laughs> it's over. You smug little twerp. Over. I'll tell you, Gwen. Oh. What the hell? Is he dead? Why is he dead? I don't know. Did you shoot him? No. Is it because I punched him once? Maybe it was just time for his heart to stop beating. Natural causes? I don't know. Jesus. That stuff is really going around. You know what, let's just get the stone back to the university and everything can get back to how it was. I guess things will go back to normal. Um. Sorry. Thank you. You're really not. No, yeah, no, I know. No, uh, you are uh, sexually terrifying to me. Yo, what's up, everybody? Dash Parker here, showing you eight other uses for your skateboard besides riding it, because the things you used to like, they scare you now. Yo, I remember back in 04, I was hanging out with my friend Shipbird, and he was like, I dare you to jump off this bridge and land on that highway with your skateboard. And I did it. <laughs> and I did it. God, I could have died. I'm a, I'm a father now, like, I can't do that. Like, that was irresponsible. Can you imagine what my parents had to think? Like, that must have raised their insurance premiums, for one thing. Like, let's not even talk about the monetary. They lived on a budget. I just want to, like, have a skateboard I roll around on and, like, sometimes, like, put my family in danger. Like, this thing? Uh, this, uh, this skateboard's a bookshelf. Walker, I want eyes on the street. If anything moves down there, I want to know about it. We're gonna miss something. You got it, Captain. I also want eyes on the lease. I can't be the only one who wants this apartment. There's a loophole in that lease. I want to know about it. Captain? I want it known that I have dibs on this apartment. Walker, acknowledge my dibs. Okay, you have dibs in the apartment. Great, let's keep looking. It's coffee. You're right, I'm so clumsy. This is tomato sauce. No, it is. And you're never gonna guess, no way. That's semen. Uh, no, no. It's, uh, it's, it's cake, cake frosting. Was the cake frosted in semen? <laughs> so I was at a birthday party and there was a cake. It was, it was cupcakes, it wasn't a big cake. This it, is semen. I know my stain. Here, I'll, I'll, uh, it's semen. It's semen. 